Hello and welcome to lesson 61 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and VBA with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In lesson 60, we dealt with how to activate the print receipt button here on our official admission receipt. So when we trigger this button here, we should be able to see a print preview of our official admission receipt here. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to assign macro to our various add buttons here the first one will be the student details sheet we need to assign a macro that will link the student detail form together with the add button here so that when we trigger this add button here we will be able to add details of our newly admitted students into our system without facing any challenge so if you are new to the channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all so that when we upload a new video you'll be able to get a notification and watch that particular video without any stress so let's just get started let's just get started without wasting any time so let's quickly come to developer tab here and let's go to visual basic and then let's come to view then let's come to project explorer let's try to maximize this one a little bit then let's come to forms so we have user form one for the student details then we also have user form two here for the teachers details we also have user form 3 so let's go to the project explorer again then we have user form 3 here for the fees payment so this is the fees collection user form so when we click on run here like this we should be able to see something like this all right so let's just go back now let's go to insert we want to insert a model that can help us to link the user forms to the add buttons that we have inside the student detail sheet inside the teacher's detail sheet and inside the fees payment detail sheet so let's come to insert here let's click on insert then let's come to models we want to insert a model so we are going to enter this code here so sub like this sub user form one we are calling the user form one so you form one like this then we open a new bracket and close it then you hit enter like this u form one so we are calling the user form one so user form one dot show user form one dot show like this good so you press the enter key again for nsub so user form one dot show so that is going to be the first model that we will insert for the user form so let's try to run this one here and see what is going to happen user form one dot show good so after inserting that model let's go back to the student's detail sheet let's go back to the student detail sheet here so we have the add button here so let's right click then let's come to assign macro here like this then user form one user form one so let's click on ok like this now let's trigger that button and see if it will work so user form one dot show immediately we click on that we should be able to see the user form one here so that is how you assign macro to the add button inside the student details sheet for us to be able to add details of our newly admitted students in our school without any stress and without any problem all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to insert the codes we want to write codes that can activate all these columns here the add photo buttons the reset the add and save the close update search everything we are going to write the codes that can help us to activate all those buttons here so please make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end
if you skip any part of this video you are going to miss a lot of things so let's go back to the developer tab again let's go to visual basic let's close this one let's close this one let's close everything here and go to students students user form the user form the first one students user form let's open it and let's enlarge it now let's start with the add and save so double tap on the add and save there i already have my code so the next thing that i'm going to do is to go to my desktop then i open my folder here like this then i'll select student user form like this so i have all my codes already prepared here so we are starting with add and save so let me just open the add and save then i only copy everything here Control a to select everything then Control c to copy so after i'm done with that i'll just go back straight forward to my student user form i'll go to the student user form expand it double tap on the add and save again then i'll only paste my code i only paste my code inside there so this is the add and save code for my student user form all right so i'll go back again open my folder like this come to add photo codes this is the add photo code so Control a to select everything then Control c to copy so let's expand the user form again we are going to add photos this particular button here so double tap then we insert the code here so Control v to paste good so we hit enter again so we open our folder again then we come to close code so let's double tap on that Control a to select everything Control c to copy then we go to our user form again like this then we we paste the code there then we paste the code there then we hit enter then we go to the folder again like this then we are coming to delete code we are coming to delete code so open it Control a to select everything Control c to copy then we come to our user form again then we control v to paste we enter like that so we don't want this video to be long we would like to end it here and continue in lesson 62 in lesson 62 we are going to continue inserting the various codes that can keep our school management system up and running without any stress so don't miss that lesson 62 make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for all Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Drop your comment in the comment section of this video. So, till our next lesson. Thank you very much for watching this video.